like to add a little reminder oh my god i hope you guys can't hear my brother he's playing video games and he's so loud okay like you guys will notice aiden Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C Squad. Over here we do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, and a bunch of university content. So if you like the sound of that, then hit the subscribe button below. Follow me on Instagram and join the fam. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I have a highly requested video because one of the number one questions in my DMs is always, what do you use to edit? How do you edit? And usually what I do is I send you guys a link to a YouTube video that breaks down step by step how the software that I use works. And that's mainly because I was really lazy to film my own video. Like these are not fun to edit. I'm not gonna lie. Like I know it's gonna be stressful for me, but I just wanna do this for you guys so that you guys can see how I truly edit if that's the kind of style that you're going for with your videos. So the software that I use is called Wondershare Filmora and I have it linked down in the description so if you want to buy it you can click on it you have different payment options but the one i did was a one-time payment a couple of years ago and that was 70 dollars, i believe i would also like to mention that filmora has since moved to another version called Filmora 9 and I still prefer to use Filmora 8 so that's the one that I use and if you google Wondershare Filmora 8 you'll see links that will help you download that but honestly Filmora 9 is kind of the same I just personally didn't feel like changing so that's why I still use the same one but all the stuff that I do you can do on Filmora 9 so yeah let me just start my recording on my laptop and show you guys how I edit. So guys, I forgot to mention that I have an HP Pavilion. That's what I use to edit my videos, so you don't need a MacBook or anything like that. Like a regular PC is just fine for this. Okay, so as you can see, I have a project open, but I'm just going to open a new project and do the dimensions as 16 by 9. And that's kind of like the full screen that you need for videos. So the first thing I do is I import my videos. So I go to import, then I usually import a folder and in my YouTube videos folder I have like each video idea and folder and then I have all the videos inside that folder. So that's one that we're doing is a day in the life of a small YouTuber. Part two, if you haven't watched that, go and watch it. It'll be linked down below. That's gonna be like my test model to show you guys how I edit. I guess what I do after that is I start to drag in all my files into the little timeline that we have. So obviously I start with my intro. And then I just go in order of when the footage was taken. So as you can see here, I have about an hour's worth of footage, which is a lot, I know, but that's completely normal. Usually I can cut everything down to about 20 minutes. Uh, so that's kind of what I aim for. So one of the things that I noticed when I got my new camera is now when I import my videos and my footage from my camera, there's like this yellow line that pops up. And basically, okay, this is going to be hard to explain. But when you have footage, sometimes you'll get like a red line on Filmora and that's basically when you need to render the footage I'm not really sure what rendering does, but it just makes sure that your video flows smoothly so that you can watch it back and stuff. So if you don't render, your video will be like lagging and stuff, but it's just because you haven't rendered. So usually for the rendering, it's red, but... 
since I got my new camera, all my footage imports and it's yellow. So I checked online and basically what you can do is you can just add any kind of overlay. So I just add a plain black image as an overlay. If you don't know what an overlay is, it's basically just like... <laughs> I cannot explain editing terms, but it's just like if I have this video, I can add another video of me doing something else here and that's an overlay of the video, basically. So this is just like an overlay photo, but as you can see, it allows like the red space, the yellow spaces to become red so that I can render. So then I just drag that through my entire video. So an important thing is that your overlay is then going to become the foreground of your video and you don't want it to be that. You want your main video to be in the foreground and this to be in the background. So what you do is you right click and you go to green screen and I know it's called green screen but you can use it for any color that you don't want. The color that I'm going to make transparent is black and I'll show you guys later how I do this with another clip and how I make that green clip transparent. So yeah, this is what you do. And then I can see my footage properly now and it is ready to be rendered. So then I sit and render this footage and this can take a while. Yeah, it can take like 10, 15 minutes. So pray for me. So that literally took centuries. I've been sitting here for like 20 to 30 minutes, closer to 30 minutes, <laughs> waiting for this to render. It does that. It just be like that sometimes. But now it's done. So... The first thing that I really do when I have a video is I kind of run through it and see maybe spots where I'm breathing and no one needs to hear me breathe or spots where I say um. I say um a lot you guys, you just don't see most of it. And then I chop out parts where I just make mistakes and fumble on my words and all that stuff because ain't nobody need to see that. So I just run through the video and do that and so let's go with the intro because I always mess up my intro. So I'll just kind of play it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So if you see in that beginning part, I messed it up. So I just... <laughs> then I basically, I click this clip and I either click the split button or I can right click and say split. Does the same thing. And then obviously I split this part as well so i can just delete the clip and then hello everybody and welcome back yeah so i literally go through the entire like one hour footage and just cut out things that i just don't need in the video so yeah i'm gonna do that So guys, I'm still in the process of just chopping and slicing things up, but I was about to do something that I don't actually usually do, but is a pretty good trick. So basically, over here in the video, I'm talking about my camera and I have taken like a video of my camera to show you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bit and I'm going to detach the audio. The reason that I do this is so that when I go and select the video file of my camera, I can have me talking about the camera over the footage of the camera, if you get what I'm saying. So I think I'm going to cut it about here. Okay, so basically I've cut this video at seven seconds on the dot so what i'm then gonna do is make this video a little bit shorter and also get it down to that and then i can move this audio here and delete this video and i hope the audio will be synced to be honest with you I don't really mess around with this like I detach the audio sometimes but not for this purpose so I actually don't 
know if this will work, but I think it should. Phone, since you guys can see what I'm recording on. Okay, so I'm filming on the Canon G7X Mark II. It was my 20th birthday present, so shout out to my parents. And I've been loving this camera, in case you guys didn't know. It worked perfectly. Okay, yeah, so that's kind of like what you can do, so that's great. But I'm going to continue and keep chopping up bits and pieces so another thing i'm gonna do now because if i don't do it now i will genuinely forget is i'm going to add i don't know if you guys have noticed but i think i used it in my pulling an all-nighter video which i will link down below but um i do this like effect like that's like it has like the spongebob voice it's like from the spongebob show or something and then it's like one hour later one hour later or something like that i don't know how they say it so yeah i pretty much got that off of youtube i have an application on my laptop called vidly which you can use to download youtube videos so i'm literally just going to drag this down into the video and also another thing that i didn't show you guys is that i like to mess around with the audio sometimes so obviously i know this one is like particularly loud so i like to make sure that the volume is a little bit lower so that you know it doesn't go from like low sound to high sound you get what i mean so yeah okay so i've only finished doing the cutting now and i think it's taken me about an hour and that is what it is the next thing i want to run you guys through is parts of the video that i speed up i don't know if you guys have noticed if i'm doing makeup and i'm not talking i just like fast forwarded or i'm sure you guys would have seen in my birthday vlog when i was getting ready and all that stuff i just kind of sped that along so yeah that's pretty much what i do so for example in this video I am doing my makeup so I'm going to click on this video and I'm gonna go to video and I'm gonna go to speed I adjust the speed depending on what it is but for this video I think I'm just gonna put it at a 5 and speed that along and the same with the next video after it and also this one <laughs> I might speed it up like maybe give it like a 6 or maybe an 8 or I might just chop bits up, but we'll see how this runs. So as you can see, I once again have to render and I need this so that when I play it back, it's not buffering or lagging or whatever. And so this takes like anywhere between five to 10 minutes. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna watch Jessica Van Yeren. Uh, I love her YouTube channel, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now that that's rendered, I'm going to mute all of the audio, which you do by right-clicking and then clicking mute, just so that I can add music in the background without it interfer interfering with the video. What song should I use? Uh, I have a list of songs that I've already used, so I try not to use the same music like all the time otherwise that's going to be really boring but basically if you guys are looking for music i spoke about where to find music for youtube in my things i wish i knew before i started a youtube video i did a collaboration with my brother i use youtube audio library it's just free music that youtube gives you my brother suggested some other source i cannot remember what it was called so check the video and yeah he'll let you know what he uses so now i'm just gonna play through the video see if it's fast enough see if it's too slow i'm probably this is about a minute and 40 seconds i'm probably going to try and cut this to maybe 20 seconds <laughs> which i know sounds ridiculous right now but i'll make it work guys now i'm gonna do something i've kind of done but not in the way i'm about to do it so if you guys watched my how to transfer universities video i basically did like going back to this overlays conversation i did an overlay where basically i had my computer screen for some of the scenes and then i had a little image of myself in like the bottom corner and so that's what i'm kind of gonna do in this video in this video, I showed you guys how I make my thumbnails and how I do my Instagram stories for 
for YouTube and yeah for that obviously I screen recorded on my phone so what I need to do is now have the image of me explaining it attached with the little screen okay so it's fine we'll explain it now you guys will see what I mean so I have my overlays so I need to drag that down so the first thing I need to do is you can see it has like the black borders on the side we go into green screen for that and we make that part of the clip transparent so you can just see my little screen recording here and then the other part that makes it slightly tricky is I've seen other youtubers do this so I'm hoping it works for me but basically when some youtubers do their videos they kind of have like an iPhone like template that they use so if you can kind of see that's kind of what I'm trying to do So the challenge that we have at the moment is that the overlay is shorter than me speaking and that's probably because I was just, you know, maybe I was quiet in some places so I wasn't talking so that's really fine. We can cut that out and make sure that this then fits so that's what I'm going to try and do now and also as you can see because we've added overlays I then need to render it yay so yeah that's what i'm gonna do now so now we're on to just like the final touches of my videos so the first thing is i don't know if you guys noticed but you know when my intro comes in like my nice little intro and then i introduce the video i have like a little transition it's like this little swipe thing and so i go under transitions and i kind of already had it picked out but there are a bunch of different transitions that you can use. I prefer to use erase slide. So that's what I use. And I even use that in between scenes sometimes. Uh, so I just add a bunch of those. And then I also do it at the end between my outro and my outro music. So that's how I do that. The next thing I'm sure you guys will notice is when I say, what do I usually say? Um, Welcome to the Z Squad, I'm here with your beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs. So if you like the sound of that, then hit the subscribe button below. Follow me on Instagram and join the fam. So when I do that, so let me find the part so I can show you. Over here we do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, and a bunch of university content. So if you like the sound of that. So when I'm pointing down, I then go into this subscribe animation. I don't remember what it was called but basically i went on youtube and i just said subscribe button animation green screen the green screen part is important and as we all know we right click and we go to the green screen and we make that part of the clip transparent so yeah and then obviously i like to put it in the corner of whichever part i was talking so somewhere down here and I also have to mute this because there's some really annoying music at the back so I just mute that and then we have to render what's new guys okay so then when I play that back obviously there's a point where I say follow me on Instagram then I like to put my little Instagram and my handle on the side so we find that part like the sound of that then hit the subscribe button below follow me on instagram that's the point and then i take down this instagram logo that i had i'm pretty sure i just got it off of google just like a random instagram photo then i like to make it a little bit shorter than the subscribe button thing and then I go into text and I go into subtitles and I drag down the subtitle thing. Obviously I make it the length of the Instagram logo logo and then I delete all this stuff. 
So if you guys are real OGs and you guys have been here from the jump, you will okay. You will notice that okay, so my Instagram handle firstly has changed since I started YouTube. That's the first thing. But uh, I put my Instagram handle and then I put it at 32 and I changed the color to white. This used to be how I had my Instagram thing in my videos, but then I literally went through all of these fonts that they have. It has to be at least 100 fonts. I went through all of them and then I found one that I really liked. So it's called Open Sans Extra Bold Italic and I absolutely love it. So that's what I use now. And then obviously I make this a little bit smaller, just resize it, put it in this corner and then I just drag this. Okay, so that's great. Then I don't know if you guys notice but when like the Instagram thing pops up, there's like a pop sound. It's like like a bottle cork type of situation. So I'm pretty sure I got that sound off of the YouTube audio library. If I didn't, then what I do with most of my sound effects, I have this cricket sound that I got and I got that off of a YouTube video. I just typed in cricket sounds into that and then I downloaded the video with Vidly, as I said before, and then so I use that for like awkward moments, obviously. And then I have my ca camera shutter sound effect, and that I use for like when I put pictures. So if you guys were watching, oh, my top five places to visit after lockdown, I did the camera shutters to show like photographs that I was taking. Then in my how much it costs to study in the UK video, I had a cash register sound for, you know, the costs and stuff. So I like to do different sound effects for different things, but in this case, the old good one is pop. So I put that there. The slight little annoying thing about this is you need to extend your timeline so that you can see the wavelength of when that sound effect starts. I like to make sure that the pop sound goes at the same time that the Instagram logo pops up. So. That's what I do. And also the pop sound is really loud. So it's probably really subtle. That's why some of you might not hear it, but I do like to put it on 30. Otherwise it's just like, it's team too much. Okay, so that's how that goes. If you guys notice at the end of my videos, I say be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C squad. It is a very similar process. Literally what I do is I copy this entire thing and I go to the end of my video. And instead of using this animation, I actually use this photo of just a su subscribe button. I'm pretty sure I got that off of Google as well. So I just like to stop at the point where I say, be sure to like, comment, and sub, then it pops up. You get what I mean? So yeah. Every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. UK time. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Oops like comment and subscribe to if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and and that is the point where i put this down and i paste this in and then i resize the subscribe thing put it on the side here And then I extend it to like the end of the video before my nice little outro music. Okay, so throughout my video, I like to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button by having like the subscribe animation and then like some text that says hit the subscribe button below. FYI, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing fam? You're already at the end of the video, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, so how I do that is since I've already done all of the work to this subscribe animation, I literally just copy it. And then I like pick which minutes I should put it at. So I think I'll put the first one at two and a half minutes and I'll paste the subscribe animation. And then for my text, and this is also how I do my text. If you guys see in my sit down videos, if I'm, I don't know, telling you steps to something. So the first thing that you should do is do this and then the second thing like I use the same type like title thing so pretty much I go into text and then I go into lower thirds and I go into the first one and I drag that down 
into the text part here and then basically I double click this I go into advanced and then I delete this bottom one because I don't need it and then this top one I found a nice little font once again when I was looking over the fonts and I like this one called Bebas New I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I say it. And then I go into this thing and I like make it bigger. Not too big, but like, yeah, just like that. And I put it in the little corner. Then I put this here. And sometimes I put borders around it, if you guys have seen. So sometimes I change the colors. The reason why I do borders sometimes is because if I'm filming, like, if I have the camera here, and obviously I'm filming in the afternoon, the sun coming in, like, you can't read it if it's in all white. So I do a border so that you guys can read it. But in this case, I don't need a border because I think you guys can read it just fine. And then I just put, hit the subscribe, whoop, subscribe button below. And, oh, you see, I might actually need to make it okay so when this is perfect and i like it i literally copy this entire thing and maybe i'll go at like six minutes like something <laughs> like somewhere here and i'll just paste it here and yeah that's pretty much how i do that so that's really how i edit okay so basically i started filming this video at three o'clock it is now 6 p.m and yeah that sounds about right i'm not even really done i still need to do final touches i always watch my videos over before i export them but i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and subscribe to join the c squad and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos i post every wednesday and sunday at 5 p.m uk time i'll see you guys in my next video bye